Whose symbol is that? That symbol belongs to the aboriginal ancient indigenous peoples of the planet Earth who are now today erroneously called Negroes, Blacks, Colored. Somehow Niger turned a nigga and shit got ugly The problem is we started thinking like the colonists To know Drew Ali started dropping that consciousness The problem is we started thinking like the colonists To know Drew Ali started dropping that consciousness The problem is we started thinking like the colonists To know Drew Ali started dropping that consciousness Pyramid symbols also the old, the one of the oldest symbols of humanity As far as the structure is concerned And dealing with the a, a structured society like Capitol Hill and Washington is from Roman times where Caesar ruled from the top of the hill so someone who's at the top of the hill or who's at the peak or someone who is peaking or someone who can see someone who's enlightened which goes into Martin Luther King saying that uh, he's been to the mountaintop so it's just a symbol of structure of of government as far as society is concerned George Washington is the first president of the United States of America Republic under the Constitution of the United States of America Republic. And the seven or eight presidents prior to him were presidents of the Continental Congress under the Articles of Confederation. Correct. And so George Washington technically is the first president of the United States be, you know, under the new government that they set up and created, which the the Declaration of Independence and then the Constitution kind of outlines that mm -hmm. as well as in George Washington's letters between uh, himself and the Emperor of Morocco at the time. But, um, so George Washington, George Washington is the first president of the United States of America, but in this land there were presidents prior to him, but just under a different terminology as far as the government and the land was concerned. There's a lot of theories out there of what this seal means. The pyramid or the triangle or tri, you know, which is three, which which you could go into the Trinitarian God, you know, um, as far as that's concerned, or you could go into uh, humanity, which is man, woman, and child. But as far as the the pyramid is concerned, and it's symbolic to the ancient mound building civilizations, whether it's uh, in the Americas, the, the Caribbean, the mainland, unite, um, the mainland of North America, also erroneously referred to as the as the United States. You know, um, the ancient ones being under occupation, and also dating back to ancient Kemet, which is in relation to Pythagoras. Uh, who created the Pythagorean theorem and he was a Greek who learned the theorem in the Egyptian mystery schools uh, so they're called but he learned it in, in ancient Egypt and it's interesting because at the time ancient Egypt was building pyramids so the American Revolutionary War 1776 uh, it states that there were two types of Englishmen I know you want to touch base on that can you tell us about the two types of Englishmen that participated in that? yeah uh yeah, there's two types of was two types of Englishmen um, during the Revolutionary War period, and those were loyalists, and then go, and then the other ones were were uh, patriots, I believe. And um, <laughs> the thing with that is uh, the tension kind of was growing. King John III of England, and the proclamation just stated that the English colonists are not to settle the land west of the Appalachian Mountains. And that was due to a lot of treaties and agreements that, that the indigenous population had had with the English colonists because they allowed them to come on the land and share the land. Now who were the indigenous populations? The indigenous populations went by many different names, but they were Moors. They were Moors. Indeed. And what you have is um, the loyalists 
Catholics were the ones who were agreeing to abide by the authority, and then the Patriots were more like the rebel types who wanted to expand on the land, you know, as, as privateers, whether the land belonged to them or not. So, um, you know, so 1763 was the proclamation, and then, you know, moving up to the mid-1770s is when a lot of the rebellionists had started. So, um, you know, upon the conclusion of the American Revolution, this is when the European colonists started calling himself an American. But prior to that, he's describing the American or the Americans as the indigenous populations and not including himself. But when he includes himself in that, now we're, now we're describing him being an amalgamated American and not the true American. Like he's kind of like the stepchild and the real child is the original American by his own definition. And it, and it says that the original, that the, by his own definition, the, Ameri the Americans are the copper colored races found in the land as by Columbus. And that's a definition from like the 1800s, like the 1840s or something like that. So the allodial title is in black letters. You know, basically allodial just means uh, no feudal overlord over you. And we know what feudalism is or what the feudal system is and feudal just means feudal is like a caste system where there's a landlord, not not landlord as in today, like an apartment landlord, but landlord meaning someone who's, who is ruling over the land for the king to collect the taxes from the land. And that's the feudal system. And a loyal is the opposite of that. A loyal means uh, no feudal overlord self. You know, you are the highest like an allodial title would be, you know, you know, like if you had a title to your car, it would say the state of Texas or the Texas Republic, it would say your name, and who you are, and what you're representing. That's allodial. The Native Americans were also considered the indigenous, the indigenous people of this land, yeah. along with the Moors, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And um, to go into that, you have, you have two types of natives. You actually have three, but you have many, the main two types of natives are, you have the Aboriginal, or what's known as an Aboriginal type, and then you have the Red Indian, who is a hybrid, who is the offspring of the Mongoloid types who migrated from Siberia um, during a time when planet was warming up at a time, maybe maybe they say maybe 30 or 40,000 years ago. So it had created a, um, a excuse me, the planet was, was colder than when it was freezing. So some of the water froze and it created a land bridge for them to migrate from, from Siberia into south, south, south into the Americas. And you had the, the, um, the intermingling of two types of people. Mm -hmm. So there you go. The red Indian is native, but he's hybrid. But the original is is the Aboriginal people. These are the same people that you see in Tasmania, that you see in Australia, and that you even see in the Philippines that they call Negros Oriental. Mm. And um, and even this, even even in Polynesia, and even in the Pacific and Hawaii. And this is prior to the European sailing these places becoming more like right. Uh, right here in Texas, um, Galveston Bay was discovered by a moor by the name of es Estabanigo, also known as Esteban the Moor. And he was a part of the Narvaez expedition of 1750 something. He was a part of the Narvaez expedition and they were exploring Florida were trying to chart Florida for Spain, and they thought Florida, also known as Florida, or Floridia, which has to do with uh, sunshine or something, mm -hmm. but they thought Florida was an island, and they were trying to chart and map Florida for Spain, and they got blown off course, and they shipwrecked on what is known today as Galveston. And this guy, Estabanico, or, or Esteban de Moore, was like the guy, or like the navigator of the expedition. Mm -hmm. So speaking of, you know, more being the head of 
of these sail, of these European sailing ships. You know, it wasn't as far fetched as 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 people try to say. Problem is, we started thinking like the colonists to know the Jew Ali started dropping that consciousness.